guys, Jeff Johnson here, Johnson Mixed Martial Arts. Uh, just got back from the Alliance Brazilian Jiu Jitsu World Championship camp uh, with Joey. Joey came out with me as well. And uh, I got a lot of people breaking down techniques, but I didn't get a chance to break one down. We were so busy and so tired from training three times a day. So I'm going to show you guys a technique now. Um, it's a very useful counter to the bullfighter guard pass. Uh, that, that, that troublesome pass where the person grabs your pants, you have no control over his uh, feet, you have no control over his arms and he's starting to uh, run around your guard with uh, speed, athleticism, and, and of course, great technique. So this is a way that I like to counter the, uh, the, uh, the bullfighter pass, but also I'm going to show you a drill that we did at the Alliance Prison Jiu Jitsu camp uh, that kind of prepares you for the technique I'm going to show you. So we're going to do both the drill and the, uh, the technique. So the drill is very simple. You start in the seated guard, have your opponent stand above you and grab your pants by the knee area or by the calf or by the end of the pants and he's just going to walk to one side as soon as he walks to that side to pass your guard okay you're going to put your opposite hand on his tricep just by the elbow and this hand on the floor so as he starts to press in on me i'm going to move myself from where i was and scoot out of the way and pull him forward make him lose his balance and then reset again so as he walks this way you're going to hold the tricep this guy's going to go on the floor you're going to scoot your butt give him a little pull make him lose his balance every time he walks around he's going to try to pass his head across i'm going to scoot and pull 20 of these, side to side, scoop and pull. Now the motion you see is the opposite foot, this hand, and you move yourself and you pull to where you were. Don't pull away. Common mistake is you go here and you try to push him and move him. You can't. He's walking around, he's putting the pressure on me. I'm going to move my butt and pull him just forward where I was. You see how he let go? And that's just a good drill to warm up because we're going to apply this same motion in the technique I'm going to show you next. So, now we're going to put that, uh, that drill to use, okay, and the technique that I use, uh, I've been using for many years. I learned it uh, originally when I was a brown belt from Leo Vieira, and I learned it the hard way. I got thrown on my head, and I said, man, you got to show me that move because it's awesome. And uh, he did, and I've been using that move for many, many years. So it goes hand in hand with, the, with that drill we just did. So if you're working your guard, many times you're dominating your arm, so he's not getting you in the bullfighter pass, but sometimes it breaks free of your ankle grips, breaks free, and he's got your pants all of a sudden, you made a mistake. So now you need to move quickly. You need to sit up right away, and you need to put your hands on the shoulders to make some space. Now, from here, many ways to counter. This way I find is very tricky and a lot of people fall for. It. You're going to take one hand, you're going to put it under his armpit in a very soft grip. Okay, very soft like this. Okay, you don't want to grab the gi, you don't want to grab aggressively so it knows what's out, but just lay it right there. And Joey will tell you that it's super soft. Okay, to the touch. Now from here, if you see on this side, holding like that, under the armpit, right there, very loose. Okay, now I want to encourage him to go this way, away from the hand. If I'm here, he has 50-50 chance to go this way, this way, depending on personal preference. So I don't want him to, to go to his favorite side. I want to hold here, and I want to encourage him to go the opposite way. Now, I could reverse it to this side. It just depends, okay, on what side you want to work. So now you're going to put this foot down a little bit outside his foot, and I'm going to put this foot on the ground like this, and I'm going to put my hand on the floor. So it's just like a technical standing up motion here. Okay, so now I'm going to encourage him to go this way, because look how open it is. He's going to start to walk around. Now, when he goes to put his shoulder down to flatten me up and drop his knee, boom, that's the time I'm going to make my move. Okay, so he has to put a little pressure forward to make this work. doesn't have to be much. Okay, so again, he's, he's a full fighter pass. I'm going to push him back and I'm going to sit up. Now, I'm going to grab the armpit and put this hand on the floor and then bait him to go this way. As soon as he starts to go, he's going to start to put his shoulder down. I'm going to escape my hips from where I was, just like the drill, and snap him down to the ground beside me. Here he Okay, so I'll go again. Don't push him anywhere he's not facing. He's coming here, he's trying to put the weight right here on me. I'm going to pull him right to where he's putting that pressure, right there. Okay, if I don't move, he's going to land on me, which is going to help him pass the guard. So here, he's grabbing the end of my pants. I'm going to sit up and block his shoulders. Grab one armpit, hand on the floor, foot underneath. I'm going to escape my hips. As he starts to put the pressure and pass, I'm going to escape and pull him down. Okay, one more time, and I'll show you how to follow that up. So here. Old fighter pass, I'm going to sit up, push him away, grab the armpit, bait him to go to this side, escape, pull him down. As soon as he goes down, I'm going to take this hand here, grab his belt, palm down, and force his head down to the mat. Try to recover, Joey. It's very tough for him to come back up now. This hand is going to grab around the leg, nice and deep, control the hips, and then from here I'm going to post his foot, and I'm going to push him over to the corner, wrestle him over, and I'm going to step over his legs and start to work the past the guard. Many options from there. So again, to the other side this time. Okay, you grab my pants by the end. Most people will grab the end of your pants. If they grab the knees, a lot, many more counters you can do. Okay, 
I'm going to push him back, sit up, and block. Hand in the armpit, opposite hand on the floor, he starts to pass that scoot and pull. And immediately grab the belt and force his head down. I grab around the, the thigh, nice and deep, and post his outside foot. Now when you drive him, don't drive him this way. He's going to post his left leg, or he's just going to spread his knee, and he's going to be tough to move, to move especially if you good rest him. So now you're going to make him do a shoulder roll essentially over his forward shoulder. So I'm going to drive him into the corner, flip him over, step over, smash his legs, and from there we've got uh, our sweep points, and we can also uh, pass the guard in many different ways. One more time. Here, blocking, armpit, here, he starts to pass. I snap him down, grab my position, lock. Now you're in good shape. Post, drive him to the corner, circular, circular, over, and look in the top position. Now sometimes I'll pull this off without even grabbing the belt. So a lot of times here I'll grab the pass and I'll snap him down and I'll just grab him and put him forward. Or sometimes I'll snap guys down and then they'll try to go to their knees and I'll just pull them over here. You know, with the scramble, different things can happen, but ideally if you can get the belt and get the leg, you're going to turn pretty much everybody over which a lot of men. So try that out guys, I think you'll find that's very sneaky. Be nice though, because if the person's big and you snap them down, sometimes they smash their head right in the back. Much like I did the first time I had it done on me. So try it out, and I think you'll find it uh, sneaky and very effective.